Okay, so what you just saw there was my idea of the perfect morning. Now this looks like hell to most people. It's Saturday morning and there's a large portion of people that are waking up like this. And most people are just like, Oh, rough night, you know, had a big one. For most people, this is just a vicious cycle and it's their idea of having fun while you're young. And I was exactly like this not even two years ago. I thought going out, getting as maggoted as possible, going to some shitty low-level club full of a bunch of losers was the absolute pinnacle of human existence and that since I was young this is the most fun I was ever going to have in my entire life. It's only after depression and regret started seeping into my mind that I started looking towards my future and realized that I need to make a change. But I heard it everywhere, you know, have fun while you're young, live life while you're young because when you get older life only gets worse. Then I started to think, well why is this? Why is life getting worse for people? Well it's because they didn't set themselves up when they were young and they set their life up to be like that. Just let me explain. So most people between between the ages of 18 and 25 will just sort of spend their time trying to make the most of their younger years, you know, going out, partying, spending their money, spending their time at these places. And I don't have anything against socializing, going out and having a good time. But it's then when they reach that age of about 25, 26, is when the most people get like a shocking realization that they're playing catch up now. So they freak out, settle down with a girlfriend, scrape up enough money to pay off a mortgage, have a kid, and they spend the rest of their lives working a job they hate to be able to support this mediocre life. Finally, when they're about 67 years of age, when it's the time to retire, they can spend a few years enjoying the money that they made and then they die. And this will be life for about 90% of men. But to me, I find this just cryptically depressing. And now this is why I've structured my life the way I have and I've guided all my efforts towards one big purpose and that is to be financially free and to be able to wake up and do whatever the fuck I want basically. Just be able to look at anything and just say, yep, I want that. I'll go buy it in cash. And a lot of you people just heard that and a lot of people always think this. Oh, that's so unrealistic. You're delusional. No one lives like that. You know, but shockingly, there is people living like that and it requires discipline. And most people hear the word discipline, they might cringe a little, they might, they think of it in a negative way. But as I've started to put many good habits in my life and I've started to build a very strong foundation of discipline in my life, I've learned that discipline is your friend and it will allow you to achieve things you originally thought were never possible. And I've come to realize that after a while, discipline actually becomes enjoyable. It's the sole foundation for any Sort of fulfillment and structure to your life. Discipline is what separates boys from men and it is what unlocks the potential to do things like being financially free, waking up, not having to go to some shitty job, not having to go to work for some guy at 7am, be at a work site at this time, be at the office at this time. You can wake up and you can choose your own reality. But if you want a life like this, you need to match that with the level of discipline. Do you think I would have completely transformed my body and gained about 15 kilos in lean muscle if I didn't put 100% of my attention and 100% of effort towards the gym? If I only went to the gym when the times that I felt like going to the gym, I would have made half the progress that I did now or even any of it. And that's what discipline is about. Discipline is doing things for the greater purpose and being able to see past your current emotional state and just see past what you currently feel like doing. And I credit discipline for everything meaningful that I've achieved in my life. So today I'm going to give you five tips on getting your life together and building some discipline. The first one is going to the gym. Now I'm going to keep it brief because I preach this so much and it's pretty self-explanatory. You know the benefits, you know why you should be going to the gym and you know why you should be looking after your health and eating healthy. This is the foundation for creating a disciplined mind and a disciplined body. The second thing is to go to sleep and wake up at the exact same time every day and to follow a structure morning routine. This will stop you from depriving yourself of sleep or oversleeping and becoming lethargic. And having good sleep is the most important thing for health. And most of the world's depression can be fixed by having proper sleep and by having proper diet and exercise. A morning routine that I found works best for me and one that Andrew Huberman recommends highly is to wake up, have a cold shower, instantly try to get five to 10 minutes of direct sunlight, then eat a healthy and light breakfast, and then go do any sort of exercise. It could be running, it could be your full gym workout. Just get the blood flowing flowing throughout your body. I'll link Andrew Huberman's optimal morning routine in the description and he explains the massive benefits of doing all these things. Number three is to stop indulging in instant gratification. Instant gratification is any activity that spikes up your dopamine levels but then results in lower levels of dopamine and happiness. Some examples of this is social media, junk food, video games, nicotine, alcohol, none of which see any long-term benefits but they make you feel good in the moment. And this is actually killing our society and it goes way deeper than you think. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but it is the single most distracting thing for young people and the single most toxic thing for your brain. And a massive one is social media. This is frying our generation's brain. But the best thing you can do to avoid killing your brain is to start delaying your gratification. Do things that don't feel good in the moment 
but will result in long-term benefits like gym, eating healthy, investing your money, cut off things like junk food, nicotine, social media, video games, whatever it is that is not progressing you towards your goals, but is making you feel a little spike of happiness in the moment. And I know it's easier said than done, and that's what happens because these are addictions, these are habits that you've built up over years. But if you do manage to cut these things off, the benefits are immeasurable. And I'm still working on this, but I've turned off all my social media notifications. I try not to even touch that stuff. I've been going to the gym now for just over a year and a half. I work out six days a week. I try to eat healthy whole foods pretty much all the time. And I've stopped my toxic alcohol drinking habits. The fourth way to stay disciplined is to put in the work that you don't want to do. An example for me was writing the script for this video. I hate writing scripts and I can't write scripts for shit. That's why I usually I end up just winging it on the camera. But I know it's something I need to do and something that's necessary to progress me towards my goals. But I know if I get it done the first thing in the day, then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. And for you to be hyper successful, there's a hyper amount of work that needs to be done to get to that level. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They see the TikToks of, you know, these people in the penthouses, the people driving around the Lamborghinis, they go, oh yeah, I'll just go live that life. But they don't realize that the work that needs to be done to get to that level is usually a lot more than they think. And if you start this journey, you won't actually have time for anything else. You won't have time for these stupid little activities like, like just scrolling through TikTok, watching Netflix, all these time-wasting activities. If you're doing average work, you're going to end up an average man. So you need to put in the hard, gritty work no matter what your brain is telling you and no matter what you feel like doing. And there is so many distractions these days. Everything is a distraction. Just look around. You've got notifications popping up on your phone. You've got your friends ringing you saying, oh, come out, come out tonight. There's just, there's so many distractions. But you need to have a relentless determination towards your goals. And this is what will separate you from the average guy. You need to have a clear vision in your mind of where you want to be and you need to direct every thought and every decision you make towards those goals. And the fifth way to be disciplined, and I hate that I'm even saying this, but it is to look after yourself and look after your hygiene. And that's something that just absolutely does my head in when I see people in public or I just see people around, they just got like scruffy beards, long fingernails, they, they stink, oily skin, dirty clothes, and it all just comes down to a lack of discipline. And for most people, it sounds like the bare minimum, but you'd be surprised if you look out for this stuff, you'll notice how many people just have just a lack of discipline or a lack of self-respect. And the reason that doing this is so important is your self-image. Being neat and presentable will take you so far in life with your networking and your connections. People will see that you're actually disciplined and you actually look after yourself. And when you're looking good, you also gain a certain amount of unconditional respect. And you know, every day you should just have a checklist. Brush your teeth twice. Make sure your hair's good. Moisturize and clean your face. You know, have a shower, put on deodorant. Make sure your nails are trimmed. There's all just basic stuff, but I actually see a lack of it everywhere. So just make sure you're always looking for presentable because it'll actually show people that you are disciplined. And that was basically it for the video guys. If you enjoyed it, press like, all that stuff, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one.